today. I'll be showing you this um, speaker I made for one of my Echo Dots. Well, obviously I didn't make the speaker, but it's for my Echo Dot uh, to have a better speaker than what came with it. I've repurposed uh, some things here. So that's what we're going to do today. That's what I'm going to show you today. All right. So what I'm going to show you today is um, how to get a stereo signal from something like uh, Amazon Echo Dot or any other device uh, that has 3.5 millimeter stereo out, but how to take that stereo signal, run it into a single speaker, but still have both left and right channels. In other words, we're going to sum the stereo signal down to mono so you can have one external speaker and yet still get it not stereo sound, but both the left and the right channels. Getting both your left and right channels may not sound like it's such a big deal, and it's not on most music, most modern music, and I say modern, recorded in the last, you know, from the 70s on, 60s on even, because you would get pretty much the same information on your left speaker and your right speaker. Every now and then they would pan left and right and you get some effects that were only on one channel, but for the most part you got the same sound out of both speakers. But if you listen to earlier music, like I do sometimes, uh, especially the Beatles, a lot of the early Beatles was mono, that would mean that the vocals would only be in the left channel, for example, and the drum and, and guitar would only be in the right channel. So if you're listening to a, uh, a stereo signal like that on a mono speaker and you haven't done this summing, you're only going to hear half the music. You're, you're not going to hear the vocals if it's on the wrong channel or whatever. So that's why you would want to use something like this. Take this apart, show you the internals. It's pretty straightforward. Front's got to come off a little bit so I can get the back or the bottom off. And so here we go. Here is uh, here are the internals. Put this off to the side here. Here are the internals. Uh, this is a little Dayton two-channel. Uh, 15 watt digital amplifier. I'll put the, uh, here's the Amazon page for this Dayton right here. It's like 26 bucks. I think you can find them cheaper now on eBay. I've had this one for years. Uh, but anyway, it has a 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo input, uh, 2.1 millimeter uh, DC input, and that's 12, 12 volts is what you'll put in there. And uh, it's straightforward. Just mount this, you know, in, in whatever speaker you want to turn uh, into a, a powered speaker. Um, and it has a separate little, uh, uh, breaks out to a little ribbon cable board and a breakout board for your potentiometer for uh, volume control that you can mount farther away from the amp itself. Uh, it has a little uh, blue LED on there if you want to have power uh, indication. But the main part of this is, this is all straightforward. Just buy this, put it together, uh, use the little coils here, and just wire it up the way they tell you to. It works great. It sounds good, too. But the main deal, obviously, is your 3.5 millimeter stereo input that comes from, the, uh, uh, comes from Alexa, the Echo Dot, or any other device, like I said, any other device you want to use where you sum a stereo signal into a mono uh, speaker. Um, so this is just a uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo uh, jack that I used. Um, I obviously used two different kinds because on the other end you can tell that's a different one. That's solid green and this is different. And I cut them in the middle. These are just two scraps that I had laying around. And the way you sum it is, I'll put a little diagram up here so you can see. You simply take the um, the positive lead from the right channel and the po and, and and solder a 1k resistor to that positive lead. The left channel do the same thing. Positive lead from the left channel, solder a 1k resistor to that lead, and then on the other end, uh, not the the end not connected to your uh, jack that's going to be plugged into your uh, device, your 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 input side. On the other end of that, you tie those resistors together. And that has now summed your left and right channels into one channel. Where you solder those resistors together, that becomes your positive input 
for your other 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. It's up to you. You can choose right or left on that one, whichever you want. Um, and then the grounds from this one just, just connect directly to the grounds on this other side. That's it. That connects your, that, that turns your left and right signal from whatever device you're plugging into it into a single mono signal, but you get both your left and right channels. And so there you go. That's all that's involved is just make your little uh, stereo to mono uh, 3.5 millimeter patch cable and connect it to your device. And that's it. So that's how it's done. Uh, now here's a demo so you can see that this actually does work and hear what it sounds like. So let's give it 12 volts. It is on. Let's connect the audio cable. Once upon a time, you dressed so fine, you threw the bomb to dive in your prime. Didn't you? The people call, say, you beware the doll, you bound to fall, you thought they were all. Kidding you You used to Laugh about Everybody that was Hanging out Now you don't As you can hear it gets plenty loud Sounds great And I have both left and right channels So anyway, thanks for watching. Do one yourself. Not that hard. Like a rose